wobbly. Hope it doesn't fall. Welcome in, Grand Rising. This is Eros Well, and I'm Eros Mary, and we're going to do a reading for the collective, okay? He could be a she, she could be a he, or they could be past, present, or future, okay? You only take what resonates. If it feels disturbing or shocking or disconcerting or completely blows your mind on the messages that come through, then they're not going to be for you, okay? Uh, these messages are for confirmation of what you already intuitively know and can feel for your own personal story, okay? I'm not a legal, medical, or mental professional. Please seek the proper support and authorities, okay? You are responsible for yourself just as I am responsible for myself when these messages come out, okay? Hope everyone's doing well. Okay, let's clear the air. Turn this down a little bit. Okay, breathe. Okay. I know a lot of readers are live right now, so I might probably won't have a lot of people in here right now. And I'm doing it way later than I usually do. All right, we don't need the alien cards. We don't need the kipper. Maybe we'll pull some goddess cards. Okay, let me get situated. Maybe these are over here somewhere. <laughs> All right, so what I'm getting here, okay. Um, Archangel Michael is coming through very strong okay with the 444 angel number of protection okay so you are very much protected i believe you already my collective already has their boundaries set okay they're in self-love they're in it's y'all are into integrating your shadow okay keeping a, a safe genuine authentic love vibration going hey eliza um 444 does collate to 12 and i picked the um the hangman okay so the hangman card is organ um organs of nutrition okay so the kickback of karma for the hangman energy is organs of nutrition okay um this is Neptunian energy, so it's like fantasies, dreams, otherworldly, etherically, okay? Also, like what you're attractive to, attracted to. It is water feeling. So, it is about feelings and emotions, intuition, connection, creativity, okay? Uh, shadow work is the true test of our self-love, okay? Um, I'm getting a main female. Yeah. A main female is overwhelmed by your boundaries that you have set. Okay. And they're learning all the boundaries that you have put up. And I do, if you were asked, wanting to ask some kind of question about this main female, the yes card did come out. This main female is very much overwhelmed and they want you to unblock them and they are a practicing witch on their own. They are kicked out of the coven slash group, faction, secret society, whatever you want to call it. 
they are practicing alone okay they were exiled from the group um i think it's because they were promised your spot right collective and we know that they can't ultimately they cannot take our place but they can delay us like a speed trap slow us down keep us in stasis right keep us frozen so this person fell for the okie doke is what i'm getting okay so someone sold them a dream that they could take your spot and soul swap and they are definitely in their poverty mentality okay of fearsome of uh shadow okay victim mentality poverty mentality woe is me okay um they are stuck with the hangman there um they need to focus on their inside character not their outside reputation okay change is needed this person is not um they're negating themselves right opposite so they're in denial this main female is very much in their shadow very much in denial very reactive okay they're projecting all the hidden things that they deny of themselves projecting it onto you collective okay this person feels very shamed that they couldn't follow through with what they were promised right um the octorian card did come out too so i'm getting that this person is very concerned about their safety okay also the big boundaries that you have up they can't penetrate them okay the wisdom keepers are very safe right now and this is concerning to this group especially this main female Okay. Um, yeah, denying this main female is denying their own shadow and projecting and overreacting to everything. They were promised to get your spot and soul swap, but that's not possible. They feel very ashamed and very stuck and they're unwilling to lay their past to rest. Like with the hangman energy here, this is about like, it looks like he's stuck, right? But really all he has to do is sacrifice the people, places, and things of his past that aren't for his good anymore, right? Lay your past to rest, rest, get a new perspective, right? Flip it upside down, cut yourself out of that tree, and move forward. But this main female, I'm getting, she they're way past this already. They can't they can't change their perspective it's because of this right here okay their pride and their ego especially because they are kicked out of their group all right angel number 444 right this is a sign from your angels that something you've been preparing for is about to happen represents clarity have y'all noticed clarity has been like a big theme in my messages for the past week so it's clarity and decisiveness okay you got to make decisions and have a clear mind when you're making these decisions you can't be in your shadow self and overwhelmed and denying hidden parts of yourself because when you do that it makes you over reactive right it makes you over reactive to anybody saying or doing anything it's because you're projecting those shameful things you feel inside of yourself that aren't expressed properly you're ready to progress and develop in your career. Yeah, so I'm feeling, I'm see this main female. This is a, um, a denial card. Poverty and the shadow self is a denial card. So this main female is in double denial. Denial about themselves. Denial about their character. They don't know how to integrate their shadow self. Right now, they're stuck in a prideful thing of getting your spot making you unblock them them getting back in the circle right for fame for clout for money for merit um 
Yeah, this is time for when you see 444, it's time for progress and developing your career, whether it's a new role that you're applying for or moving up within somewhere that you already are. It shows you are in good health, you're sincere, you're focused and successful. And like I said, it says protection right here. This is Archangel Michael. When you see 444, it's just the same as here in police sirens. No, you are protected. Okay. Archangel Michael is very much on the spirit realm protecting you, defending you. Okay. All right, let me read it. It says change, rebellion, guidance, justice, truth, character, and love. Getting re Get ready for the good things you've been hoping for. You were bo born for a higher calling. Put your energy into going towards your ambitions and the universe will align itself to provide you with the right people, circumstances and resources to make things happen. Yeah. So you're surrendering over to the divine, to God, right? To source, to the universe. You're, you're surrendering over, change your perspective and surrender over that the right people, circumstances and resources sources are going to come into your life so you can make what you need to work hey auto okay yeah so i feel like this main female is in limbo okay they need to go into themselves introspection and surrender like you've been doing collective okay I'm also picking up someone that you gave. I don't know if it's this main female, but someone you gave back to the streets wants to come back home to you. They are desperate, desperate, dire need to want to come back to you. But you you threw this person on the streets. You get what I'm saying? You said you realized that they were low vibrational. They didn't treat people with morals, ethics and respect. So they were more or less for the street. So you told them to go on ahead and move around. We don't do that over here. You get what I'm saying? When the hangman, I feel like, yeah, look, when the hangman's in reverse, you're putting a lot of time and energy into something, but not getting any results. Okay. And that's what I feel like. Uh, into something. Yeah. Someone needs, needs a timeout. They need a change of perspective. And this main female isn't in energy or vibration where they can take a time out. They're trying to prove themselves to get back into this group so that they can get your spot, which we know that they can't do that. But still, that doesn't mean they're not going to try. Um, Poverty, like we said, it's either confirmation, negation is denying. Confirmation means you're agreeing, and negation means you deny. So the poverty mindset, victim mentality mindset of the poverty card and the kipper, okay? The contradiction or denial of something, right? It's either confirmation or negation. The absence or opposite of something actual or positive. So it's the opposite of positive energy. And she's in double of the main female is in double of that. The poverty card can represent hunger, true poverty, fear, suffering, pain, malnutrition. I don't feel like this person is taking care of their self. Um condition modesty it could be abandonment this person feels very much abandoned because they want you to unblock them um bankruptcy with no without recovery uh this part i feel like this uh person they uh exploit weaker as you want to say air quote weaker minded individuals and i feel like this person mistreat this main female mistreats children Uh, this poverty card would represent a slavery relationship. I feel like this female is like a dominatrix, right? And she has slaves. And that's the kind of dynamic that she likes to keep in relationships. But I do feel that she mistreats children very much. Okay. 
Yeah, I feel like this main female is very rude and sadistic. The poverty card here is not just material poverty. It's also spiritual and emotional and intellectual, uh, intellectual pro uh, poverty. Right? That's why we say victim mentality, poverty mentality. You get the inability to escape. You're stuck and trapped. And look, it's confirmation again. So this person feels trapped every way they turn. I, I am feeling this person's at the beginning of their dark night of the soul, right? So that means anything that they've ever known of in their life is being, you know what I'm saying? It's being demolished and rebuilt up new, right? Especially illusions and fantasies. Especially if it's built up on manipulation and lies. All right. Um, Octorian. Okay. From the Boots constellation, they are fifth uh, dimension higher civilization and are the most advanced ETs in our Milky Way galaxy. Octorians are non polarized, right? They don't do the male, female, light, dark. Okay, they are complete whole. That's how you how you can tell that they're in the fifth dimension or higher, right? It's only in the 3D that we have positive, negative, right? Male, female, black and white. You get what I'm saying? Uh, they find third dimensional space and time very hard, harsh space to experience. They have the capacity to exchange lower 3D frequencies. They're like super alchemizers, okay? They do vibrate in the violet flame of ascended masters like Saint Germain, okay? They alchemize the 3D frequencies and transmit them into higher frequencies for a period of time. They turn pain into gold. Arcturians within the advanced violet bandwidth of frequencies, which uh, assist them to remain peaceful and connected to all. Without the loving frequency of the 5D of the violet flame, you can't open the if you don't go through and master the violet They are gentle, private, quiet race overall and are amazing time travelers. of the universe with finest starships and state-of-the-art crystal technology they operate and navigate their ships purely through auras and consciousness energy they vary in size some are tall some are small their skin tone is blue to green they have profound telekinesis and no sickness at all octarians have extensive wisdom and cosmic knowledge the Octorians were historically responsible for assisting, right? They helped the Pleiadians ascend to have ascended awareness during their collective consciousness shifts. And that's what they're doing and helping us do now, okay? Crop circles with the elaborate sacred geometry designs are usually the work of Octorian frequency technology. So the meaning of this card when you see it, is wisdom keepers feeling safe concerned coherent prudent emotional intelligence deep quiet achiever trial and error so it's very 5d frequency right listening sensible soul searching reserved confidant friend mentor insightful rational conscientious right now when it's in the reverse how this main female is frequency is right now they're very cagey very uptight and it says bitchy here <laughs> uh and irresponsible and irrational okay and this card is really cool shadow self uh, our shadow self is a psychological and spiritual perspective regarding the aspects of ourselves that we often either deny sometimes cannot see and conceal from the public every human being and higher being has a shadow self the problem comes up 
when we with denial or refusal to see the shadow self that holds as this causes spiritual fragmentation in the psyche in your mind and it blocks your enlightenment and your wholeness integration you have to integrate your shadow self to become whole that's what i mean every time we say we need to balance out the feminine and masculine the light and the dark inside of us okay shadow selves not acknowledged okay what this main female is doing is not acknowledging their dark side their shadow self okay when you're in denial and refusal of your shadow self you take on an unaware semi-aware autopilot and when you go on autopilot of your spirit life usually results in projections when you're triggered okay can you get reactive it's be, this is where dark entities subconsciously reside and where arcans can steer and manipulate if a person is not conscious this is why it's so important to integrate your spirit shadow self okay if you become whole and integrate your shadow self the arcans the dark entities cannot attach to you if your shadow think of peter pan if your shadow is integrated into you, any kind of dark, malicious, baneful entity that tries to come to you will be scared of you because you're a big giant. You're whole. You're not polarized. You're not positive or negative. You're all of it. All dark entities are merely abandoned aspects of all life. Okay? It's what they run from shadow self typically emerges during early childhood and progressively manifests if not integrated shadow self contains anything that we were taught and judged as a small child this is what your shadow is okay as a small child when you're taught or judged something is inappropriate wrong shameful or bad we compartmentalize it into our shadow okay we were punished or rejected for etc etc that's what your shadow is these conditions may have been passed on to us through our families our schools our communities our culture etc the denial of this of these aspects we do not like or accept of ourselves. you repress them right it wanders not fully conscious so it becomes your subconscious when you don't integrate your shadow and then you project and you overreact constantly to things defiantly and it's what you deny in your in when you look at others when you're in your shadow they deny what is in themselves basic example okay if you angrily overreact towards another person who is really sad it's highly probable that you have denied or repressed your own sadness if you get mad at somebody else for crying and for being sad you get what i'm saying facing and owning our shadow self aspects can be challenging even painful so initially and requires self-awareness humility and accountability it's about taking responsibility for yourself while also forgiving this is a big part you got to forgive yourself for allowing yourself to be ran right by your shadow your fears shadow work is the true test of self-love true core healing always contains huge elements of shadow work the meaning for for the shadow self card is denial repressed fragmented you know how i always have my cards that say defragmenting your timelines so this person this female here that's in her shadow your shadow is what fragments your mind and your heart your psyche okay denial repressed fragmented triggered shame self-loathing that's that right here with the victim mentality both of these are shadow 
childhood wounds, overreacting, dark night of the soul, and addictions. I do feel like this main female is very much uh, substance abuse, probably alcohol too, but I definitely feel substance abuse. They have a lot of addictions. It's because they, they play with their shadow all the time, but then deny even having one. Now, when the shadow self is in reverse here, this is you, Collective, okay? You're healing. You're integrating your shadow self in with your light body and becoming whole. Becoming whole self-awareness. Right, okay. All right, so I showed y'all we have learning boundaries. Yes, for this main female. Learning boundaries, yes, they're very overwhelmed because you won't unblock them. And they have nowhere to go, I just heard, because they're kicked out of their group slash coven uh, because they failed at taking your spot because they can't do that. Somebody lied to these people, especially this main female, that they would get your spot. You can't change people's destiny. You can slow them down. All right, big old introduction there. I'm feeling drawn to pull a couple goddess cards here. What we got? Shekmet comes through. Shekmet comes through strong in my readings. Have y'all noticed that? You're stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. Be strong. a couple goddess cards here to see what comes out. Here we have Rihanna, the sorceress, and Sedna, the infinite supply. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. Yeah, so this tells me you have all the resources you need to make something out of nothing. I'm seeing clarity, clear intentions. You're focused. You're in the here and now, but you're preparing for tomorrow. Good job. I see a lot of purple here. So that is uh, what shields us and what keeps us safe. Because the Octarians, they're in that fifth dimension frequency energy of the violet flame. Okay, they alchemize. So you are alchemizing your pain to gold is what I'm getting. Awesome. Hey, something else came out. Vote. Receiving what you need. Progression. Yeah, I felt moving forward. You're accepting the change. You're laying your past to rest. You're super protected. I see two indications of protection. I see that you're integrating your shadow. You're arriving. It's like the chariot has, a, has a, arrived. Okay, I am picking up a Pisces, an Aries, a Cancer, a Libra. So far. Moving, yeah, you're moving on. And this uh, main female has closure issues. Yeah. All right, so you want me to do the pink ones? Okay, let's do the pink ones. Got to go with what spirit's pulling me to. Look, something's coming in fast. Yeah, so you moved on real fast. You seen... <laughs> You were interacting with this main female somehow or another. Otherwise, they wouldn't be coming up on the board. Okay. So, you realize this person was low vibrational and you set boundaries with this person. Okay. And you did it fast. You moved on real fast. It was shocking to this main female that about your sudden change, your transformation. 
Yeah, they didn't like it. Very shocking to this female, main female. Yeah, this main female did not like it that you uh, moved on. They never thought you would set up boundaries. They never thought you would change, especially how you interact with them. I'm hearing they thought they had it in the bag with you. Okay. Paradise and acts, happiness, joy, expansion, oneness, enjoying each other. Yeah, you were very loving and, and very, like, cheerful and playful with this person. But you had to stop the pattern with the axe here. Yeah, you left this person in the dust. Abandonment. You stopped the pattern. You broke up and left this person. Even if it's just a friend, a co-worker, whoever it is, you separated from this person. Okay, you're giving them the silent treatment because you have your boundaries are set. You want happiness, okay? I'm feeling Jupiter here. Someone could be a Sagittarius, okay? Because you want to expand. I'm feeling the Empress card. You could be a Taurus or a Libra. Everything the uh, Empress touches grows. So does Jupiter. Expansion here. You want to expand your optimism. This person is in pessimism in the shadow. And the thing about it is, you're not even doing anything to this person, but loving yourself. But shadow working, right? How did I say that? Shadow work is uh, the true, it's true, it shows you. How did I say that? <laughs> shadow work is the true test of self love. That's what I put. Shadows, yeah. Shadow work is the true test of your self love because you have to love yourself and accept yourself and take accountability and responsibility. Even if you, your shadow was mainly casted on from generations before you, okay? Like from your family. Certain things they told you that were bad or inappropriate or made you feel shame. Some reason, someone is very Catholic. I'm pulling a very strong Catholic through. I was born Catholic. But a lot of Catholics are made to feel shame and shadow constantly all the time, okay? Yeah, so you want happiness, so you cut this person off. Definitely. And it's a big shock to this main female that you have such strong boundaries. You might not have even cut this person off, like, per se, directly, but you set up boundaries for all people, places, and things. So, therefore, it's, it's, you know, going back to this person, too. I'm feeling very strong boundaries. Awesome. Yeah, so you stop the pattern. This person's feeling abandoned, overwhelmed. What else? Whoa, that's crazy. Oh, I ain't doing that. Cupid's arrow. Love could be coming in. A special invitation or a meeting. Okay, I'm getting you might have hesitated at first putting your boundaries up to this person. That's normal. That's that's regular. I don't like saying normal. That is a healthy thing when you want to hesitate at first. When you're coming out of your dark night of the soul integrating your shadow self i do feel some kind of special invitation or a special meeting the runner in reverse yeah this person is the runner but they're in reverse. Okay, so rudder in a codependent relationship. This person fears intimacy and they listen to their ego. But it's in reverse, so you're not doing that anymore. You could have been the runner, collective. Okay, in your relationships. 
that anytime he got real vulnerable, okay, or intimate, not intimate like sexy time, sexy time, but intimate as in like unveiling the the onion of yourself, right? Going into the shadow work part, right? The I hear muck grimy parts of, of life, right? Before before it got serious in relationships, you could have been the runner, okay, and leave them before they hurt you. Now it's in reverse. You're not wanting to do that anymore. Now it feels like you're, and it's landing right on top of the yes. Yeah. So it feels like you're ready. Yes, you're ready not to be in that runner chaser dynamic anymore. You're not listening to your ego anymore. You're not fearing intimacy and getting close and being vulnerable with someone anymore. You're ready. Just because you're ready doesn't mean you have to jump in anything. It just means that your heart's receptive and open to it. But you're not you're not being triggered and overwhelmed and projecting your shadow onto other people though, like this uh main female is. All right, give me one more. Well, give me one more. Okay, you're not going to give me one more? Give me one more. Okay. The golden mirror. Yeah, this narcissist, it's a narcissist, main female that's overwhelmed. They're very self-absorbed. They feel abandoned by you. They're very shocked that you're moving on. They have closure issues, okay? They only do runner-chaser dynamics, one-sided relationships, and they love bomb. Look, love bombing. Yeah, they're very, the love bomber is very overwhelmed. Yeah, I definitely am picking up that feeling of before they hurt you, you're going to run and leave. I can relate to that. I used to do that. I used to only would date uh, married people. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's wrong. That wasn't right of me to do that. But I did it because I didn't want to get vulnerable or intimate enough with somebody that it could re be a real connection because I was in my shadow self right i was made feel ashamed and different things like that and all the love connections and things that i had were codependent relationships trauma bonding relationships egotistical relationships fear of intimacy runner chaser right but then i grew up and realized you don't do that Somebody's in a relationship with someone else. You don't get in the middle of that. But I did it as a safe way. So I wouldn't be vulnerable with other people. I had a lot of sexual issues when I was younger. So I totally can relate if anybody's resonating on this. Give me one more. Okay. That's a couple more. Abundance. Yeah, you got to keep a positive mindset. Because you're going to manifest exactly what you're putting out. Remember how uh, at, whenever we started having the eclipses, I said, y'all be very mindful of your thoughts at this time. Because your thoughts lead to manifestations, right? And it's all about gratitude. Abundance is a clear mind and an open heart. And it sounds like you have that collective. Look, yeah, this person, they miss your passion. They miss your loving. They miss the awesomeness of your chemistry together. They're realizing now that you are an awesome person. You're a fun person. And that you really genuinely cared about them. They're thinking about you. They're unsure sure of their future. They're in sadness right now. But we can't worry about them, okay? They got to worry about themselves. That's how, where their problem is. Things didn't get better for you, Collective, till you started worrying about yourself, right? You can't sit there uh, like the Disney Prince and Princess movies waiting on your knight in shining armor to come and save you. You have to be your own knight in shining armor. 
All right, give me one more. Come on now. Anytime I ask for one more, it gives me like two or three. Let's just do the top one. A date. Yeah, this person is very much missing you. Realizing how much fun y'all had and they want to come back. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. They haven't integrated their shadow self. Twin flame. Yeah, okay, so this was your twin flame that is not, they want to play with their shadow, okay? They don't want to integrate their shadow. They're still denying it. Remember, not confirmation, but negation. Ne confirmation is agreeing. And negation is denying. Yeah, this person wants to come back and date you because they think it's going to balance it out. They think that's the only way that they can balance out the bad juju that they have going on right now. But really, they need to work on their inside, their shadow, their wounds. Stuff that they deny of themselves. All right, what we got here? This. Yeah, you persevered through this. All the challenges that came through to you. You persevered through. You're moving on. You don't have any closure issues. You learned your boundaries. Okay. Yeah, this person is very stressed about your sudden change. They are getting some kind of shocking news about your transformation so much that they can't sleep at night. This person could be getting headaches. They're very malnutrition. I'm getting that. Well, we did uh, the kickback karma for the hangman is organs of nutrition. And this poverty card over here was talking about malnutrition. This person is not taking care of themselves. Val. Yeah, leaning on top of the enjoying each other's time. Y'all might have took taken a vow to one another. You could have married this person, but you had to leave them. You had to separate them. You had to stop the pattern with this person. Yeah, this person fell for some kind of uh, bribe, temptation. This main female was, yeah, was bribed to, look at this, to break y'all up. Persuasion, uh, bribe, and temptation. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So they were bribed into abandoning you. And you got tired of them doing that runner chaser dynamic. You integrated your shadow and now you're moving forward in self love. You've already tested your shadow self. You're. You're moving on. Yeah, look, a third wheel. Yeah, this person had a third wheel. Your twin flame had a third wheel. And it is an op to you, a hater. They're very overloaded because you're not wanting to uh, do the runner chaser dynamic anymore. These people are doing this excessively. While they're overloaded. Remember, we did see love bombers. Yeah, it's over with. For these narcissistic, self absorbed look, love bombers. Yeah, it's over with. Endless harm, inevitable death. Golden mirror. Self absorbed narcissist. One sided relationship, love bombing. Hey, Josh. I know I'm doing my live stream kind of late tonight. I just gotten busy doing all kinds of other stuff today.
it's, it's so crazy because every day when I'm like, I'm going to try to do it earlier, I'm going to try to do it earlier. <laughs> the days I say that, I end up doing it longer, like uh, extend it out longer. All right, so we have trap, victim, allure, trick. Yeah, these people got tricked out of their abundance. Now they're trapped. You have a positive mindset. These people don't. They're stuck in their shadows. They're getting exactly what they put out is what they get back. They're not in gratitude. That's why they're stuck. They're not grateful for what they already have. They want more, more, more. I'm hearing bigger, bigger, bigger. They were tricked out of their abundance. Yeah, a goal. Yeah, the whole goal was to stop you. Was to keep you in separation from real love. From having real insane chemistry with other people. Yeah, they expected you. They never thought you were going to stop. These people are stuck. A pop now look yeah someone wants to come back and and date you even though they wanted to take your place before with the soul swap there they wanted to take your place but they want to come back and confess and hope you come you forgive them they feel guilty now they want to come back and just jump back in like nothing ever happened they don't want you to get out there and date anybody new they want you to date them yep your twin flame wants you back. But they're not growing. They're not integrating their shadow self. They're denying everything. This person is a bully. Your twin flame is a bully. Plain put. Look. They're gossipers. They might be smart, like intelligent wise, but they don't have emotional intelligence, if you get what I'm saying. So this, yeah, this bully, ex-twin flame of yours, is embarrassed and they're trapped and stuck now. Yeah, they're definitely stuck. They they can't let their past go. They're stressed because you persevere through. They were bribed out of their abundance. They were bribed to separate from you and to love bomb you constantly. They lost their own spot coming. Look, I just got that. They lost their own spot coming for your spot. Wow. Okay, I'm getting that they're going backwards. You know how you're progressing forward? They're going back. I did feel that at the beginning too. I didn't say it. With this number 37. Jesus. Yeah, look, they're going backwards. Remember how I said both of these cards and their shadow cards look 37 36 this person is going backwards while you're going forward I, I feel like you might intuitively I feel that you feel that too yeah this person is going backwards 37 36 1971 and 1979 are important Yeah, but your twin flame was just a bully. They're a spirituality hater. I'm feeling smear campaign. They gossip about you. They love bomb you. Now they're feeling embarrassed because they're trapped in the trap they try to trap you in. Now they want to come back and balance it out. Because now they see your big energy too. They see your worth. If they couldn't see your worth when y'all were together, they don't deserve you. Period. Let's get into it. 
Six of Fire. Yeah, Six of Wands. This is going to be made public. Your self-esteem is back. This person made you feel worthless. This is success. Okay, this is you also lighting the flame and the pathway for other people to get over the challenges and persevere through the challenges that you did and to integrate their shadow self so that they can become whole, not polarized. I see an ace of pentacles. Yeah, so there's a, a seed of a new beginning that's going to be given to you from the divine. Use it, use it wisely. You're getting some kind of blessing in the pinnacle, ace of pinnacles. Ten of swords in reverse. Yeah. So you don't have that worst possible outcome anymore. They do now. Yeah, it's freedom. You have freedom. Recovery. Because you persevere through. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, your slow, steady movement forward. While these other people can't sleep at night, they're under pressure, they're stressed, they have a headache. You're in Knight of Pentacles energy. Responsible, supportive, organized, focused, clarity. That's because you're whole, you're integrated. You're light and you're dark. You're feminine and you're masculine. Yeah, nobody's perfect, but you're not denying. That's the big key there. Remember, negation. We either have confirmation, which is agreement, or negation, which is denial. I love y'all. If nobody's told y'all today, Collective, I love y'all very much. And thank you so much for your time, love, and support. I'm very grateful. Yeah, so this is over. The world is completion and justice. Yeah. Fairness, the law, karma. Uh, this bribery, this temptation that this main female or ex-twin flame fell into, the law will be called into it. If I see a king of swords, then most definitely, or a hermit. Yeah, someone to, fell for the temptation. I feel like it's more than one person. But you're accomplished. You already went the world card here. So you don't went through the whole fool's journey. Now you're ready to start on your hero's journey. But you have to be integrated in your light and your shadow, your feminine and your masculine. You have to be whole by yourself and you have to be patient. You have to be in that temperance earth angel energy. Or you're just going to repeat. After this world card, you're just going to go right back to the full card energy. Learn trials and tribulations again. I feel this main female is being tested right now. And their true colors are coming out. I'm feeling true colors for a lot of people lately. I'm feeling clarity for the collective. But this is completion and justice. Also, the completion is the world cards landing on top of the vow. Yeah, so it's complete. So now you can have real vows and hopes and wishes for happiness and expansion and joy and enjoying another person, a real genuine connection, a divine counterpart, or just soul family connections, right? It doesn't have to be romantic. You've accomplished so much. You really have. Especially to get to the world card. I love you, Eliza. Whoa. Yeah, look, chariot. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. Willpower, victory. Okay. You will be recognized for this. Especially with that, uh, we see in the six of, uh, six of wands a while ago. It's 
going to be public. It's going to, you're going to be going to, you're going to get some kind of recognition because these people remember they're in gossip energy and smear campaign slander. This person is a bully. Your ex twin flame is a bully. The one that didn't pass their test, they're still in their shadow. Along with this main female. Whoever the main female is pertaining to your story, to your false twin flame, ex twin flame. Take it how it resonates. But with the chariot here, you've entered, like I said a while ago, you're integrating. You're not polarized anymore. You're not uh, female, male, light, dark, yin, yang. You're whole. You're all of it now. So you're empress, emperor energy. You get what I'm saying? All of it connected. So you're moving forward. The third wheel did not want you to move forward. They wanted you to stay in love bombing. Cupid's arrow, third wheel energy. I just seen three of pentacles. So it was a team effort. Yeah, we did see at the beginning this uh, main female is a warlock now. That means they have been kicked out of their coven, of their circle, of their secret society, or group of friends, whatever it is that does dark arts together. And if they don't do real magic, okay, elemental stuff at magic, then they're doing air magic, air words, curses, wishing will ill will ill on people. I said will ill. Okay, someone's name could be Will. Wishing ill will. I said will ill. Okay. <laughs> someone's trying to mirror me right now. I can feel it. I just felt that energy. Okay. Welcome in. I feel a cross watcher. Six of air. Yeah, this is relief. Hope. Moving on. Sailing on to smoother waters. Yep. While uh, these other people are overloaded, they feel overwhelmed. That's two cards of overwhelmed, too, there. Yeah, High Priestess. So you're following your intuition. You have patience. You're in your divine feminine, divine masculine energy. I can feel it. Could be uh, uh, any of the water signs. But heavy on Pisces here, heavy on Cancer, heavy on Pisces, Taurus, Libra. What's this? Ace of Cups. Yeah, so you're very much strong using your intuition. Okay. On this new cup of love that's coming to you, a blessing from the divine. Okay. It's going to be emotional. And you're going to feel like it's a trap at first. But you need to be receptive and positive and grateful because it is going to be, it's not going to be a trap what I'm getting. Some kind of new emotional connection is going to come through. It's going to look like a trap at first, but it's not. It's an abundant, positive mindset, okay? High, it's a high vibration of person, but it's going to feel like it. It's not going to, it's going to be, whoa, tower. It's going to be like you collective. Okay. It's going to be not what it seems. It's going to be ambiguous. It could be understood in many ways than one. Or a fire. Yeah, this is you achieving. This is you being content with yourself. You're reaching your goals. You're celebrating. King of Wands. This is you being inspiration to people. They did look, they wanted you to stop being an inspiration to people. Look, passions right here, too. Okay. This warlock could be male or female, but I was resonating that it was a, a, a main female up here. That card came out. Okay, so this warlock wanted you to stop being passionate. Look, king of wands. It could have been a fire sign or you could be the fire sign. 
They wanted you to stagnate your passion. They didn't want you to be charismatic, charismatic, inspiration to other people, taking a lead of your life. Wow. Yeah, that person's a bully. That warlock is a bully. They're locked in that war mentality. You know, the love war, tit for tat mentality. They're locked into it because they're kicked out of their group, their circle. Does it make sense now why it's called warlock? Balance, temperance, yeah. They want to apologize. They feel guilty for what they did to the earth angels about these love bombings. They want to come back in. They're trying to soul swap with the earth angel divine beings. They want to apologize. But it's not a true, real apology. They only want to apologize because their shadow is chasing them. And they're chicken. And they're denying their own shadow. They want to come back and date you. Because you are in temperance energy, earth angel energy. You have self-control. You can moderate things. You're balanced. Temperance is all about patience, too. Look, number 14. I've been saying for a week now something about number 14. All right, give me one more on this bully. You could be a Sagittarius. But that's mainly, to me, it's indicative of uh, earth angel energy. Yeah, so now you get to celebrate, okay? Three of three of cups, that's coming together, celebrating with your soul family. And look, it's going to balance out. Yeah, six of uh, pentacles. Balancing out what was lost. Real genuine connections that you were denied before because of this bully. Because of this twin flame bully that teamed up and wanted to prove their self as a warlock, as a dark arts wielder, high, dark high, whatever they want to label themselves as. It's a twin flame bully. Now you get to move on and have real genuine connections with soul family. And that's balance. That's, that's the way the universe is going to balance it out. All right, let's see what we got on the board. The world. So it's complete. Yeah, you feel a sense of belonging also is what the world card is here. Okay, I'm getting that the divine God, source, whatever you want to call, okay, get, told you, promised you paradise, okay? And you have a sense of belonging, a oneness. God is going to complete that vow to you of paradise, of love, of joy, of happiness. You deserve it. You've accomplished this. You completed so much. Especially by integrating your shadow. Justice. It's justice. For whatever these people were bribed with, whatever kind of temptation and persuasion that they fell for, to come to light. Because, look, you stopped this pattern. So what if they feel abandoned? So what if they're getting the silent treatment? They need to go heal. They need to work on themselves. The law is definitely involved. Yeah, so, so okay, we have Pisces, Taurus, Libra. Cancer. Yeah, so you're moving forward. Victory, recognition, your willpower is strong. You're balanced with your light and your dark. And you're an emperor or empress uh, energy. So you can ride this chariot. High priestess. Intuition. Yeah, you're following your intuition. And you're speaking when you need to speak because they, the high priestess doesn't say everything they know. They just know, okay? So you don't have to, you already know this too. 
you don't have to say or prove anything to these people. Just keep your bound. Remember, we have learning boundaries. Keep your boundaries strong. Okay. Stay true to yourself. Keep patience. Don't deny stuff. Okay. Don't negate. Confirm. Agree or disagree. Temperance. Yeah, so you're moderated. Patience again. All right. Sagittarius. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer. Taurus, Libra, and Pisces again. All right, let's do another day. That's right, Josh. That's right. Giving that false, fake apology isn't going to help them. It's just going to make them look... I mean, we're going to know by them coming forward, saying anything, exactly who, what, when, where, in a high priestess way, we're going to know that it was them. Page of Swords. Somebody's watching. Somebody's creeping around somebody's house watching something somewhere. I'm getting stalker vibes. They told me to leave this out. Yeah, because they know that it's over, that you've recovered and you have freedom. It's not the worst possible outcome for you anymore with the Ten of Swords right there. So they're watching because you're free they don't understand it how you persevere through this and how you not only persevere but you're you're blossoming you're glowing up you're becoming even bigger on your spiritual throne and it's so strong in the spirit that it's now coming over and manifesting in the 3d Hey, tell us about this spy. Who's spying? Who's spying on collective because the collective is free? Whoa. Okay. We have five of swords. Okay. So someone who's feeling sorry for themselves. Okay. They feel dishonor. Could be the main female. Okay. King of Pentacles could be Ursine. Supposed to be someone that's trustworthy, right? Action leading, you know, to financial gain. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're exhausted. But you are the spiritual warrior. You have the inner strength and the perseverance to move forward. What else? The hangman. Look, it's Houdini. And we got the hangman up there too. Yeah, so this is laying your past to rest. Get a new perspective. Two of swords. Yeah, they wanted you avoiding the truth and blind. 22. And two of wands. Yeah, they, they wanted you avoiding the truth with the two of swords. And... Not able to make a decision of where you want to go. Half in, half out. See how this lady's half in the wall and half out? I'm getting a hokey pokey feel. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so half and someone's like all, on the fence. Someone's being haunted with some kind of paranormal activity right now they're they want to just leave their house but it, i just heard it's going to follow them no matter where they go what house they go to okay karma that spirit is attached to them not to a house or an object 
It's something that they were trying to send to you collective and it came back onto them because you're in a higher frequency. You don't have a shadow self that's stronger than your light body. All right, so I'm getting this person that's watching you feels very dishonorable. Okay, they feel shame. Could be a, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Someone who thinks they're king of the material world. Okay, they might not be it, but in their mind, how they want to vibrate is that they're king of the material world. Okay, so they could be very materialistic. And they made you endure a lot. And that's going to be justice for everything that they made you carry. See how this person is carrying that big door on their back? You had to jump hurdles and rings of fire for this person just to get their approval. You had to be careful what you said around them. But this person is getting karma for the things that they put you through, the struggle they made you go through. I just heard for trying to, what is it? Something, your fire. Stagnate your fire. I heard stagnate your fire. Yeah. But those trials and tribulations you went through with this main female and uh, your twin flame. They prepared you for what's to come, for the perspective change, for laying your past to rest with this earth sign and this main female. Yeah, so you laid that to rest. You're not worried about it anymore. You're moving forward. You're making a decision on where to go and what to do. Yeah, three of cups in reverse. Yeah, so this whole group is dismantled now. We did see the warlock card, right? And look, it's laying it right up. So this new emotional beginning that you have from your perspective change now has trapped these people and they're all falling apart. They're not a group anymore. Three of cups in reverse. They're not celebrating anymore. They don't think it's funny anymore. Well, we never thought it was funny at all. The, I feel like these people never took things seriously. But now they're having to be made to take everything seriously now. Look, something about a tattoo parlor. I felt this the other day. Either your twin flame or this main female, they do tattoos or they have a lot of tattoos. Eight of Pentacles. This is you mastering yourself, self mastery, the master craft. Yeah. Someone could be an Aries or a Capricorn. I'm getting those piercings with the big gauges. Also, the so body piercings and tattoos are very significant to this. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so you're balancing. You're balancing out this heartbreak. So we had 22 and 23. Two of, uh, two of Pentacles and three of Swords. I am feeling an older feminine energy is behind this too. Like they're just sitting in their chair somewhere with that weird grimace face. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see. Dang it. Yeah. She's got a weird grimace face. It looks like she's uh, poking needles, uh, pins into a voodoo doll. It's supposed to look like she's like knitting something, but I don't think that's what it is. It looks like she's really, yeah. 
like got a vendetta out. Well, it does represent the three of swords, so that's heartbreak, discord. They didn't want you to balance out the, the heartbreak. The chaos that they created. Is it messing up? Please tell me it's on. Come on now. Are we rolling? Let me do one more. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. There we go. Self-sufficient, independent, and free. This is a pre-empress card. This is good health. Good luck. Careful with your money. This is you being fulfilled. You're not worried. You're enjoying yourself. Yeah, because you're balancing out this heart rate. You mastered yourself with the Eight of Pentacles. And tattoos and piercings are very significant. And you're balancing out this heartbreak. And you're fulfilled by yourself. And you show it out to the world. All right. Let's see what we got here. Majors. We have the hangman. Right? I mean, that's what we started with. So, it's uh, laying your past to rest. Perspective change. Cut yourself down from this tree so you can move and progress forward. So, Pisces. Is that the only major? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Dang. Two towers. <laughs> two towers right there, huh? Look, something's going to definitely be made public. Definitely. I felt that with the six of uh, wands a while ago. Look. Oh, wow. This black male is going to be made public. Told you somebody was bribed and fell for the temptation up here. And it's going to the court system about all that they made you carry with the nine of wands justice card persuasion bribery and temptation blackmail they couldn't blackmail you they didn't have you didn't have anything any skeletons in your closet for them to blackmail you with either they didn't have leverage on you i just heard leverage yeah so this blackmail is going to be made public wow Yeah, they're poisoning your food. Could be poisoning your mind, too. Because any y'all be careful with what you consume, what you listen to on the radio, what you watch on TV, what you're eating. is It's not being a consumer isn't just what you eat and drink, okay? It's also what you're watching, what you're giving your time and attention to. Look, someone could be a domestic violence survivor. Me, too. So they were poisoning you one way or another, but this, I feel like this is physical, agricultural, industrial food poisoning. And they were, uh, I just heard grooming. They were grooming you that domestic violence is okay, that it's normalized and it's not. Oh, he didn't mean to hit you. She didn't mean, she ain't going to hurt you again. Oh, suck it up. You're a man. No, that is not right. Yeah, con artist, flim flam man. I don't know if anybody's ever seen this movie, but this is a small town con artist that goes around messing over people in the town. The older man in the movie, and he does, uh, he teaches this younger man how to do this. 
So I do feel like that kind of dynamic too of an older man teaching a younger man how to be a con artist. Could have been someone in your family, the fourth house. But this is also your stability, your roots, your foundation. And I'm looking at the nine of wands is where I'm going to place this card. So they, they wanted you to carry everything for them. They wanted to overload you. Remember how we've seen two or three cards where they're feeling overwhelmed right now? That's because you used to be feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, fourth house. They told me to keep this could be a cancer or someone in your family that, uh, pertaining to this. Could be a Virgo too. I just seen sixth house. They were affecting your health, your daily routine. They wanted you to be lazy and not have any ambition. We did see that, oh, uh, the King of Wands thing I was talking about, where the goal was for you not to have any passion or charisma. Yeah, you're in Dharma right now. You've, you've already uh, cleared out all your karmic baggage, pretty much, if you haven't all the way. Some people call it good karma. But you're able to sleep at night. You're not your consciousness isn't eating you up with guilt about things that you might have done to other people. You made your men's, I just heard. Yeah, you're a teacher. Forever the student, but you're in teacher mode right now. This is telling me. That you need to get out of the house. That you need to connect with other people. You're the teacher now. People are going to be watching you to take the lead for them to know what to do and where to go and how to do things and how to be. Well, you have true love coming in. Yeah, this is why they want you to shut up. They want me to shut up too. It's a whole group that got uh that's falling apart with the three of cups in reverse. They're not celebrating anymore. It's because you're speaking out. You're speaking your mind. You're witness and testifying to your story. And the truth will set you free, especially your own truth. And that's what this is all about right here too. The shadow self. Not being in the uh pot mo oh, can't talk mental uh victim mentality, poverty mentality, denying things of yourself when you're living in your full form of truth, we call it living your best life, right? Yeah, they this person is dysfunctional that wants you to shut up, they can't function, they're overwhelmed. It's landed right on top of the tattoo uh, card, Eight of Pentacles. This person is a, I just heard, very, very good tattoo artist. They're like a famous tattoo artist. If not famous, just in their circle, in your small area, they're famous. I just heard reputable. But they can't function right now. Yeah, you're being cold to them with hot and reverse. Yeah, they feel abandoned. A lawyer, they're gonna need a lawyer. I told y'all something's going to oh uh, to the courts. Yeah, hard work in reverse. They think you're just lucky. They don't think you put hard work in. I do feel like there's some kind of windfall, some kind of good thing that's about to come to you i don't know if it's like unexpected money an inheritance something but somebody these people think that you're just lucky they don't realize that hard work that you had to put in on yourself to grow 
to be a better person for yourself than you were the day before. These people out here, they are trying to be better than the next person next to them. You're trying to be a better person than you were yesterday. That's a big difference. Yeah, look, they want to monitor to you. We did see the Page of Swords. They're watching. But they can't regulate you anymore. They can watch. That's all they can do. Yeah, you revisit your scars. But a scar means that it's not a wound anymore. That means that it's healed. So this Mercury retrograde could definitely be that you're going back and revisiting your scars of when you were in your shadow, right? Drowning in your shadow, when you denied it, when you were in that victim mentality, poor pitiful me, I'll never amount to nothing kind of attitude. This Mercury retrograde is just showing you to yourself. It's beautiful, actually. A Taurus. Something about a club or a bar. They'll do anything for clout. Wow. Yeah, and they lie. Okay. Yeah, and they try to put you in MK Ultra programs. I'm getting human experiment. So that's like um psychological and emotional warfare frequencies. Gang stalking, poisoning, drugging, look, video chat. So this Taurus is video chatting. Something uh, they're lying about. Okay, hold on. This Taurus that's connected to a club. I'm getting a coven. This Taurus that's connected to a club that does anything for clout. Okay, is in a video chat and they're lying about this human experiment. Look, pay raise in the reverse. Yeah, they're lying about the human experiment because they're losing money. They're not getting paid. So they have to lie about the experiment. They're very attracted to you. Uh, karmic dad could be uh, involved. Dad in reverse. Yeah, you're getting lighter. So your heart is even more lighter than my yacht's feather. They thought you were a duck, but actually you're the teacher. That reminds me of the undercover boss. You know what I'm talking about? Where so somebody thought you were just some lick to be taken over, just some duck, right? Somebody that's ignorant, didn't know better, naive. Come to find out, you're the master teacher. Reminds me of the undercover boss. <laughs> yeah, these people just spit out a whole bunch of words, salad, don't make no sense. Just take up your energy harvest, your time, energy. Yeah, look, they don't want you to identify yourself and speak on and witness and testify about your life they want you to shut up they don't want you to identify yourself and identify what the problem is and what's been going on in your life and voice it out it's a whole group the three of cups in reverse here they can't shut you up about who you are and you speaking on it that's why the whole group's getting dismantled Yeah, they want to gatekeep you. This gatekeeper is very just, look, I'm telling y'all something about this tattoo artist with the gatekeeper. They were very, they're very masterful, very good tattoo artist, gatekeeper that's trying to monitor you, hall monitor you. He, like a handler. They're very dysfunctional and overwhelmed right now.
I'm just gonna pull a whole bunch out and see what comes out. Give us some messages. Come on. Asleep. Okay, we got asleep. Harassment. Yeah, people have been sleeping on the harassment they've been doing to you. A Libra. You could be the Libra, or the Libra is the one that's been harassing you. They're stuck in the matrix. I see with the sleep card here. Something about a farm. Yeah, you went through your kundalini rising. Now you're activating your Christ consciousness. You're ready to ascend. Look, the Libra is a hitman. The Libra is supposed to take you out. They're connected to some kind of farm. And they've been harassing you. I can relate to this. Wow. Yeah, look. Hitman. Libra. That's stuck in the matrix asleep connected to a farm is harassing you because you are activated your light being because you're like christ you're like joshua right now so they want to take you out because it up it uproots everything that they base society and the culture and the communities on when you continue to speak out and identify yourself and the things going on around you, you're crumbling their whole everything, governments, you name it. It's not just this group falling, it's the whole system. I heard infrastructure. Thank you, spirit. I was kind of struggling there. Infrastructure. So now they sent it. I'm, I'm getting this Libra was sent in as a hitman, but they can't do it. They fell in love with you because you are activated your light being. And you've shown this Libra something they've never seen or felt before. That's why they were harassing you, too, because they still had were indebted. I'm getting they were bribed to be this hitman against you collective and to harass you. They were tempted by something. I just see lies. Yeah, they were tempted by these lies to harass you and to take you out. Wow. That's heavy. And what's this one? Yeah, these people were assuming that they could take you out. This Libra assumed that he could do it. I'm getting this a man. Yeah, this Libra fell in love with you, Collective. Look, a sex fiend. You could have walked away from this person because they were low vibrational, very sexual, lustful. Look, revenge. Revenge and reverse. So, yeah, so they can't do it. Look, and repeatedly they have come to Lord's Collective to try to do it. Repeat revenge. They can't do it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they can't. This Libra cannot take you out repeatedly they try to do it and they can't because they fell in love with you wow collective hey andrew thank you thank you very much yeah okay look this libra uh does hard drugs but they're scared they're like a chicken they're very fearful they are in their poverty mentality a victim mentality mindset they're in their shadow i'm getting they need courage like the courage um uh, wizard of oz lion yeah sort you know source is always with you that's why you're not chicken collective this person is disconnected from source. So therefore they are in their shadow more than their light body. And they are fearful and chicken. It's another reason why they couldn't take you out. Repeat. I look at it, it says repeatedly. They didn't. I'm getting also. They didn't have anything that they didn't like about you to revenge on. But at the beginning we seen lies here. Right. So someone lied to them. And convince them to try to take revenge out on you. But repeatedly. But it, this Libra hitman couldn't do it. Because they're in their shadow. They live in fear and anxiety. 
they're chicken and they're disconnected from source but you're not you know source is always with you oh something fell on the floor let me put that over here you know source is always with you that's beautiful yeah this libra is asleep wow <laughs> this libra is double stuck in the matrix y'all asleep and sleep that's sad yeah, look, they have a physical block. They can't come towards you now. They are learning your boundaries. We've seen that at the very beginning of my message today. Learning boundaries. So there is a physical block put up that this hitman cannot. I'm getting an emotional block, too, because this Libra fell in love with you, Collective. And it doesn't have to be a romantic way, but I am feeling that it is kind of a romantic way. But it's just exuberating your light body of love. You are love. That's what being an earth angel, a temperance angel is. Being compassionate. Being kind. Not being selfish. And doing things behind closed doors. Instead of just doing things out in public. For merit. Merit making. Oh, something here. Yeah, career. Yeah, so you're advancing in your career. You're moving forward. I'm proud of you, Collective. You're not worried about this uh, this group or whatever here. That's awesome. You're focused on your self-love. Because shadow work is the truest form of self-love. What is this? A sister. A sister is going to say that they weren't involved, but they were. It wasn't me. You see that? I feel like this sister always says this. And it doesn't have to be your sister. It could be someone that you consider a sister. Or someone that just holds a sister title. But they're all about that money. Remember we seen that king of pentacles over here? This could be that sister. Anything for clout and all about money. That's sad. Okay, I'm going to do some letters. Oh, someone's saying, oh, they didn't know that about you. I just got that. They didn't know something about you. Oh, that's why. I just heard, oh, that's why. So something about your ancestors, something about your bloodline, your, uh, your heritage. Something, somebody's connecting some pieces together right now. I, I'm getting the operating system too. Someone's hacking someone's phone. A, you. Wow, I almost have all the vowels up here. <laughs> o I A U. Okay, I never had all the vowels come out. Okay, so someone feels definitely feels abandoned, and from their constant. Right? Because these are all vowels up here. So them learning their boundaries, they feel, wow. They feel very rejected. I'm getting coloring out of the, um, not, they're not coloring inside the lines. Whatever that means. W, okay. Something about a camelback. Isn't that a pouch that you drink? That you like carry on your back. Like a water bag. A water bag. Or whatever. A camel bag. I don't know. I'm not saying it right. Whoa. H. R. Human resources. Human resources come through a lot lately. K. Someone loves Krispy Kreme donuts. Okay. R. So 
someone's been feeling like they're just going around and around and around about. They don't have an exit to get out of their roundabout in. Something about Shark Week. L. Sharknado. Okay. It's going to be relevant to whoever needs it. J. Something about Briar Lane or Briar Cove. What else? What else the collective need to know? Something about an arc. We were talking about the Octorians a while ago and the Archons. But this is like Noah's Ark. I'm getting like a Noah's Ark feel. Q. They want to get on the ship with you. They want to save themselves. Now they believe you is what I'm getting. You know how nobody believed Noah? And then when he went out to find people, especially to uh, balance out the children, because he had more boys, right? He didn't have girls. When he went out to look for females for his children, he seen how bad Sodom and Gomorrah was, right? And how they were just like cannibalized and satanic and just baneful yeah something about noah's ark and nobody believed him but i'm getting nobody ever believed you collective now they do now they want to get on your ark with you yeah they want to jump on the ark is what i'm getting something about shark week when is shark week i'm about to look that up <laughs> Shark Week is significant. Let me see. I got to do it. I'm doing it now. Shark Week. Shark Week is a movie? 1988 movie? What week is Shark Week? 2024. Okay, so... Every year in July or August, it takes place from July 21st to the 28th this year. Wow, it's close to my birthday. Okay, so from July 21st to the 28th is significant to this message. That's when Shark Week is this year. Thank you, Google. <laughs> Y'all, Google is your friend, really. Thank you, Eliza. V. T. Something about toilet paper? TP. <laughs> Do they still toilet paper uh, people's houses? Oh, wow, y'all. I think it is getting to be that time for proms and stuff where they do, the high schoolers do TP people's houses. Somebody's going to get toilet paper. <laughs> Look, V for vendetta. Somebody's got a vendetta out and they want to go toilet paper someone's house. <laughs> y'all, I bet. I bet y'all. X. Look, and they're going to post it on Twitter. They're going to post it on Twitter. It's going to be epic. I just heard it's going to be epic toilet paper rolling. Okay. It feels like high schoolers. B. I'm getting Boaz. So somebody in the collective is like Ruth. Okay. You have morals, ethics, and respect. You come from the, the, the bloodline descendant of Jesus. And Boaz, I'm not going to go into it too deep, but Boaz was her husband. Just like on the High Priestess card where they have uh, Boaz on one column, the B, and J, Jaquin uh, on the other one, Boaz and Jaquin. 
Somebody's like Ruth in the collective because Boaz is coming through. Look, there's J too, B and J. So yeah, it's the high priestess. Very intuitive. You see behind the veil. E. Today was tax day, wasn't it? Somebody H and R block. I just got e file. E file in your H and R block. Okay. C. Someone has carpal tunnel in their hand and their wrist or whatever. I. Someone's a confidential informant and they have carpal tunnel. They even wear a wristband. They're very intuitive. They're trying to do the right thing. They want to come clean, I just heard. Okay. Tell you what. Yeah, they want to come clean about something about an earth angel, temperance. Something about a divine being. Something that was done to a chosen one. Tell me about this confidential informant. Yeah, it's a choice someone made. The lover's car. Temperance in the lovers. Could be a Sagittarius. Could be a Gemini. Or you are. It's because you made a choice to balance yourself out. And to be patient. And to integrate your shadow. To move out of that poverty mindset. Yeah, look. There's Boaz and Jakeem. What I was just talking about. The B and the J. This person is very intuitive. They know you are. Look. You could be a water sign, or this person is Cancer, Pi uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Queen of Cups. They're very much in there, very loving, very psychic. That's cho chosen one feeling there. Page of Wands. At the beginning of a passion. So this uh. CI, this confidential informant, doesn't matter what bureau it goes to, doesn't matter if it's local, if it's feds, or if it's Interpol, okay? This CI, this confidential informant, knows that you are a chosen one. You are the real deal high priestess. You are very loving, very caring, very psychic, and you are moving forward with the Queen of Wands, Page of Wands here. And nothing's going to stop you. Your fire has been lit. I feel like this is a young fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, confidential informant. It's going to do the right thing. Because they see who you really are. They didn't want to believe it at first. This person did have the attitude of anything for clout. And they were all about money. But I just heard you've changed their perspective. Wow. You've changed their perspective on life and on themselves. Wow. I got chill bumps. You have touched this person. So yeah, so it's a I'm feeling a under 35. They could just be in young energy, okay? But I am feeling like maybe younger than 35. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, confidential informant. They know you are the real deal. They know you're intuitive. They know you're loving, you're kind, you're psychic, you're generous, you're nurturing, and you're moving forward. You do, Josh? You can, It's resonating? That's good. All right, I feel like I need to pull a couple more of this. You know, I usually close it out around my letters, but when I seen CI, I just felt pulled like I definitely needed to pull on that more. Look, lovers came out again. Oh, wow. And the seven of swords. 
yeah so that oh man yeah so this this ci knows about your past relationships and what they were doing behind the scenes This confidential informant knows a lot. They know more than they're supposed to. That's because they were connected to this ex of yours. They had a firsthand view of what was going on. So they were a bystander. Okay. Even though this person is doing the right thing, they were a bystander watching you be hurt and abused. Okay. So don't, don't think that they're just all love and light because they were watching an ex of yours do something behind the scenes, deceitful, stealing something, thievery, some kind of deception. My ears are on fire now. Look, justice. Yeah, so it's justice. You're going to get, wow. This, yes, I told y'all this confidential informant is doing the right thing. It's going to be called down justice. Could be a Libra, could be a Gemini. We've seen uh, temperance, could be a Sagittarius, could be a, a, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. But I feel this confidential informant is a young fire sign with the Page of Wands here. I feel the high priestess and the uh, queen of cups is your energy. And this page of wands is their energy because they're at the beginning of that fire being lit under their butt to do the right thing. It's about the choices they made of doing sneaky things behind the scenes. That's beautiful. This is a good reading, y'all. Yeah, justice is coming out. All right, let's get a, a healing activation card and we'll close it out. That's sad, Eliza. I hate that. I love it when my messages resonate for you guys, but it makes me sad the, the way the stories come out, y'all. It's like, wow, we went through all of that. It's crazy. I can't believe we persevered through. I'm so proud of each and every one of you, okay? No one's told you today I love you and I'm very proud of you. Freedom through faith. I calm my thoughts and rise above fear. That's what this is all about. The Because your shadow is your fears and what you deny about yourself and what you make victim of. Okay. This is a great reading. Freedom through your faith and not denying things of yourself. I free myself of all doubt by entrusting my doubts to God. I have faith in God's perfect timing. Yeah, that's the... Uh, the hangman you surrender it over to the divine timing i have faith in god's perfect timing and placement i trust his will and find freedom well yeah so that is kind of the hangman energy letting go and you get freedom in your faith of something you can't see of the divine timing but you have to have faith and lay, you have to make a way, pave a way and make an empty spot for the new things in your life to come in. So you have to do people, places and things and you're, yeah. Freedom through faith. I'm going to do one more. I see you shining light, shine bright like a diamond. Yeah. So you're shining your light and you're in peaceful energy. Justice came out, what, twice? Hangman came out twice. Just right off the bat, just thinking. Overwhelmed came out twice. Dark Shadow. Denying came out twice. Give me one more card. Okay. Transformation. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you have, you have protection, the 444 there. Archangel Michael is very much protecting you while you have freedom through your faith to surrender to the divine, change your perspective, lay things, lay your past to rest, and have faith of divine timing. 
for your transformation. And constant. We've seen constant on here too a couple times. I constantly evolving. I improve inwardly by working on my weaknesses. There we go. Poverty mindset. Shadow self. Working on my weaknesses and refining my strengths. Life ensures I'm presented with situations that will help me learn and grow. I am aware of my progress and open my wings to the light. Wow. I open my wings to the light. That's beautiful. All right, Collective, I love you. Just remember, Source is always with you, okay? It's not outside of you. It's inside of you. I love you. If you like how I read, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And uh, I'll see y'all again tomorrow. Namaste. Shay.